Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Beardlib Editor Tutorial. <clears throat> Alright, so in this, uh, this uh, episode, we're going to be going over optimization strategies, which are going to be portals, occluders, and um, making sure you have uh, don't have enough packages so you can actually load the level and you don't crash with a crash that has a bad allocation of memory. Or something along the lines of memory. So we're going to start off with occluders and portals. Uh, I've already set up a unit right here. What this unit is, is called an occluder plane. Right here. So what this is, it's a unit. As I showed here, it is an editor only unit. One side is white, one side is not. And what it does is pretty much just like this. We look through the white side, we can't see what's behind it. And if we turn off the editor unit, see? Magic trick. We can see the vault now, now we can't. Just like that. Anything that's behind this plane will simply disappear. And just like that. So occluder planes are a very effective way, or a very uh, cost effective way. S simple, I don't know the wording. But the point is, I put down one unit and it allows me to delete anything that's there. It's very effective to use it can inside walls um, that of course you're not going to see on the other side of. Uh, this is what Overkill does for a lot of their heists. A lot of their newer heists are just put up occlu occluder planes everywhere. So while this is really great, um, very easy, um, and as you can see it only took like two seconds to load the unit, place it down, um, it does cause some issues in terms of uh, optimization. If you do it right, it can be perfect. I'm just going to hold up. I'm going to turn up my mic just a tiny bit. Um, if you do it right, it can be good. And there's no issue with it. But, um, as you can see with Overkill's newer heists, they're slightly not optimized to be perfect. Or perfect. Um, so I prefer to use a thing called a portal right here. So to start off, you click on the portal and hit new portal. I'm going to call this portal house. Perfect. Then you click on the house portal to select it and you can hit new shape. So it spawns this shape. This shape is very similar to the one you use for environments and other such objects like that and I'm just gonna set it up to encompass the house um, and a test run of this this is like 4500 and then this is about 3500 and this is 2000 there you go <clears throat> so what it does pretty much anything inside of the circle will be hidden. We do that by going to here and hitting this little square right here. It will automatically fill the portal. So any unit that is within this portal square, or if you have multiple shapes, anything that's inside of all of the squares will then be filled, right? So we do it just like that. So when you have the portal highlighted, anything that's circled in red like this uh, is inside the portal. So there's an issue with this because the house physically isn't circled in red. So to do that and fix that, we go back here. I'm going to hit select. I'm going to type in house. Select all. Just like that. Go back to the portal. Select it. Then we're on the selection screen. And I'm going to hit add to current portal. There you go. So now we can see everything is currently highlighted in red. So we now know that all of the objects here are inside the portal. We can double check that by going to the units. And you can see all the units are here. Now if you have a lot of objects or units inside of the portal, it will lag when you click on the, uh, the, the portal. So just be a little wary about that. Um, but there's that. I'm going to hit save. Restart. Once we restart, I will show you what a portal does. So it doesn't show up 
I'm just going to show you. Includers, they work inside the editor. Uh, portals do not. All portals are disabled. But if we load it into this mode, we'll see. After a second or two. We need to look away. There you go. <laughs> That's what's supposed to happen. I wasn't. Sh I'm not sure why it wasn't correctly hiding, but as you can see, it correctly hides everything that's inside the portal. Um, select the portal. As you can see, we can't. We can see it here. Uh, it might just be because I loaded it. Yeah, anything that's inside this square is loaded. When you step inside the square, it loads everything. When you step outside, it will slowly delete everything. Of course, it doesn't actually delete it. It's still there, but it's just not loaded. So, um, your computer does better in terms of FPS and uh, other things, such things like that. It's not playing so nice right now. Might be because I have the unit selected. Not too sure why. There you go. So, you might be asking, well, I don't really like the fact that I have to walk inside the shape for it to spawn it, right? Yeah, that's a way easier way <laughs> to showcase what it does. I don't like the fact that if I'm this close, it pops up. I want to see it when I'm like over here, right? This is useful when it's like you're going down a hallway but that hallway isn't part of that portal. So you want to go down the hallway, but you see the objects at the end are not there. Um, so what you do with that is you go to the portal and just like before, you make a new shape and you can put it down right here, wherever you want it to be. And all you gotta do is just not touch it if that makes sense so you can see now it's now it's over here it works but if I go here and then to here it disappears so pretty much anything if a player is inside of well not a player but yourself um, your own character it also it works for clients so if the host is in here and the client isn't not in here the client won't see this stuff so don't worry about that but if you're inside of this, any of the squares, um, the objects inside the portal will load. So this is a very nice way to pretty much, this is the main portal that encapsulate, encapsulates all the units. Um, and then here's the hallway into that area, right? Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you what the late, late, late holiday special looks like. All right, so I decided to go to Stockford instead because I was having some issues with the late holiday special. Uh, but I wanted to show you the portals that I got. All right, so I got the main portal. Again, like I said, if there's a lot of units, it will lag when you click on it. Uh, currently, I am lagging out right now. Uh, it'll take a couple moments. Or a lot of moments. We will see. There you go. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, it's a lot of units. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, let's see. Just, just like this. And I have it. Because obviously, when you're standing here, and the gate's open, you're going to see out. Right, so I have it, so when you step here, everything out here starts to load. Obviously, nothing over here is part of that portal. Uh, just to verify, I'm going to show you something. If you click on a unit, you can see down here inside groups, you can see that's this. Uh, that's a not a useful, sorry, <laughs> that was a bad example. This, there you go, you can see is inside portal garage so if we go to garage 
Let's see. Indeed, it is inside the portal. Just like that. So I have this little area right here. Pretty much it always is loaded because, uh, you know, you're always going back and forth between the two. So, walk into here, everything in the garage is loaded. Just like that. So that's how I handle going in between the two. Um, you can either do it like I did here with um, the hallways always being loaded. Or you can have a portal that just um, loads stuff in. So, I'm going to head back to the tutorial map. Last thing I wanted to show you. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I am yawning. Last thing I wanted to show you was how to deal with optimizing your map in terms of packages. Uh, I'm just going to the level right now, like opening the folder. So pretty much you. want to go to the folder that it is so I have the test video folder and then open that main XML just like this and you can see that this level right here the tutorial map um, it depends on per level if you have a multi-day heist um, this will be level one uh, here is an instance which is level two technically this has packages but I want to deal with the first level right here so if this is how I do it. Uh, it's completely dependent on how you want to do it, but this is how I do it. I find it's very simple to do it this way. You just delete everything, delete all the packages, and then we'll head on back to the payday game. And then what you do from here, you open up in safe mode to the tutorial map. So, this is very useful because if you have too many packages, your game will crash. Um, Payday 2 is a 32-bit um, file, an app. Uh, most newer games are 64-bit. Now, if you're not tech-savvy, what that pretty much means, 32-bit means that there's less memory that the game can use. That memory limit is actually like 3 point something gigs of RAM. So no matter how, if you have 16 gigs of RAM on your computer, doesn't matter. Once that, once Payday hits 3 gigs, or hits the limit, which is 3 point something gigs, the game will crash. And the crash log will be uh, bad allocation memory. Somewhere in there, it'll say something about memory. Um... So you don't want to have that happen, because obviously the level becomes unplayable. So to fix that, like I just showed, you delete all the packages, because packages are the big ones. Um, packages pretty much are a list of units and sounds and other things that the game needs to load. Right. Um, if you load from extract, it's only loading that single unit. But if you load from the package, it's loading like 5, 10 units when you really are only using like 1 or 2. Um, now, is it always better to load from extract? In terms of memory, yes. But the problem with loading everything from extract is, one, you can't load sounds from extract. And two, um, the f map size, like the physical map size when you download it, will be huge. Um, you'll see this a lot in my maps, is there'll be 100 megabytes, right? That's a pretty big map. That's just because there's so much in the assets folder. A lot of the times, for the most part, it is sounds, but in the zombies mode, there's a lot of custom assets that are in there that just take up so much space. Um, so what we do, you can see all these units are unloaded, and what we do, we hit fix by searching packages. And then once you're in here, 
what we will do, we'll see that there's 19 units out of 28 missing assets. And I feel like I've made a video on this, but I'm just going to show it in this case right now. Uh, because it's a, it's a good way to optimize the level. Um, just, you know, obviously pick the highest one. Um, I think I mentioned this before, where one megabyte f per unit is usually pretty good. I find anything lower than that is uh, what you want to be aiming for. So you don't want to pick this three for 23 megabytes. That's terrible. But that 19 for five, pretty good. I'm going to hit this one. Fix by loading packages. I'm going to hit... Uh, now, obviously, if I keep hitting this, I'll finish it. But I, you know, I don't want to have so many packages that they're all just tiny, tiny, tiny. Of course, I could do that. There's no problem with that. But I want to do it a different way. Both because uh, that's annoying to go into packages, click one, you know. But also for demonstration purposes. So what we do here is we go fix by loading from extract. This. Any, loading any unit from extract requires an extract of the game. Uh, you need to use the bundle modder. Um, pretty much just look out how to extract a pay from payday. Um, and you'll be able to load all, uh, extract all the levels. The thing with that is the game is 60 megabytes or gigabytes I should say. It will then be another 60 gigabytes or whatever. I think that the game isn't actually 60 gigabytes but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, you want to just keep it on default, which is network animations and sound banks, and then just hit export. Now, of course, it doesn't work right away, so you just got to hit restart. And just like that, so you can see everything is loaded, and we've reduced our package load. Um, before, there was, I want to say, eight or nine. Now, there's only four, and they're a lot smaller, too. So that's how you fix a package loading uh, optimization issue um, for memory. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed.